we should take a look at the West there because the West race is interesting between Vancouver, uh, Vegas, and LA. Yeah, and Vancouver really blew that extra point last night against Ottawa. Yeah. Like, After winning uh, six. Yeah. Oh. Uh, like, uh, that's such a tough one because it's like you have to win this one, but also mm-hmm. like Christ, they won six straight. But thank God the GMs voted against a three-two-one system so uh, that all these teams could be in this playoff race. Um, Vegas, <laughs> Vegas lost to the Devils this week, guys. And like, the, and the Kings uh, beat the Ducks, and good for them. They're right. gonna make it. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make brash statements about the Kings. <laughs> Until I'm right or wrong. Will. <laughs> <laughs> you would be great on ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Now, if you're not a fan of the Kings and you don't like seeing them good again, just remember Mark Bergevin's there. So have heart. They'll probably be mediocre. Damn. But I, I'm torn uh, between hating Mark Bergevin and supporting Alan Wall's client, Sean Dersey, <laughs> and his pursuit at the Stanley Cup playoffs. And I hope they call up Martin Furt, also noted Alan Wall's client. I hope they trade for Nathan Walker, Adam, or at least they play each other in the playoffs. So Alan Wall's client, Nathan Walker, could take on Alan Wall's client, Martin Furt, and Alan Wall's client, Sean Dersey, in the Stanley Cup playoffs. <laughs> How you doing? Oh man, I'm good. You doing good? Ooh, Vancouver. You know who's doing even better? <laughs> Alan Walsh client Sean Dersey, who was a plus one last night. I learned. Did I you learned hear the that. news of Alan Walsh client Mark Andre Fleury playing one more year? Mm-hmm. That's so great, Adam. That Alan Walsh client Mark Andre Fleury. <laughs> Is going to play another season after this one. My not so hot take is that how these standings are right now is how they're going to finish in two weeks. Explain. Show I got mind. Vegas and That's Vancouver. That's how as bad the standings are. Uh, no, I see what I you're saying. I got Vegas and Vancouver missing. I do too. And yeah. I, the reason is, is Nashville's very strong and they they're are. in a tough division. And Dallas, listen, I Dallas has let me down for two years since that that playoff run. I thought they were spectacular and they just can't fucking score. And I don't know why each year they go by and they're like, you know what? We're still not going to solve that problem. But they've got 43 wins. They're stronger defensively than Vegas or Vancouver. And I just think that they've been there. And I think mm-hmm. them missing last year had a lot more to do with a COVID outbreak than really the team talent. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Remember they missed like a month? Yeah. And and so, you the know. The whole team got it out. But, but the serious question, the question you should be asking yourself about the West is not who is going to make it and who isn't? Is Will Jack Eichel ever in his life play a playoff game? <laughs> Yo, did you see the who stat? Who will play less playoff games, Taylor Hall or Jack Eichel? Oh, Jack Eichel. Hall's on the Bruins, so. Yeah, Taylor Hall. He had how many last year? It's tripled his total, probably. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yeah. When, yeah, yeah. like when Kadri joined the Avs. Um, <laughs> friggin', uh, yeah, I know. It's still hurting. Sucks. It sucks bad. Um, I someone posted a stat Eichel and the Sabres since Eichel made his Vegas debut have like identical records. Wow. They're like 13, 14 and well, time it's losses. confirmed. Eichel sucks. Should have booed him. Man, booed him. <laughs> man. Oh man. I mean, listen, which team would I pick at the beginning of next season? Not knowing how this off season is going to go of oh, Vegas, but mm. you never know. I, have you heard of true North dot bet? Sure have. Okay. Well, you have because you're listening right now. Built to be the credible, dependable, safe gaming experience that Canadians are looking for, TrueNorth.bet focuses on exclusively on Canada and Canadian players. TrueNorth.bet also takes pride in having the best customer service on the market. They're professional, efficient, and built for you. You should do this. Visit TrueNorth.bet slash STPN. Check it out. Do you think Giordano will be back next year? I think so. I hope so. He played, like, do you think he'd sign with the Leafs again? I do. I don't know where he fits. That's a tough one. Um, he, he fits above some of the other players. No, the cap healthy. is tough. Like, well, there's the cap, and then there's fully, well, ideally, fully healthy Jake Muzzin, who I imagine is getting surgery the instant the season is done. And But then you gotta, you need roster spots for Lilligren, permanent. You're never taking him out of the lineup again, ever. And Sandine, who you're never taking yep. out of the lineup again, ever. Uh, serious question. Are we ever going to get a fully healthy Jake Muzzin ever again? This guy I'm hasn't always, played a, his, his yeah. last full season, 82 games, mm-hmm. or even close to it, 16-17. Now, I know some of that, like last year he played 53. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, in a shortened season. A shortened seven, season, right? Yeah. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's no, a out of 56, season. sorry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's pretty good. Yeah, it was a full season. But I just, I mean, listen, the hard miles, guys. Mm-hmm. It's if, hard if miles. If Jake Muzzin's an LTIR guy for the least for the next few years, I wouldn't be shocked. 
I wouldn't be shocked, but also guys who are cooked do not remain that way necessarily. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know who is cooked? Ryan Johansson. And he's having a, you know, he's perhaps not an $8 million player. He's been a good contributor for the Nashville Predators. You know who is cooked? Dustin Brown. He was cooked a long time ago. But then he came he got in back. the middle of his career. He got cooked in, in that the end. middle of his career. They took the like, captaincy oh, away. Yeah. He's done. Nope, he's not done. Like it's there are many a success story uh, with players. And, uh, and sometimes got, these guys just need to take care of their bodies. Yeah, and then you got a uh, Shea Weber. And that could be a Muslin could be a Shea Weber situation no, where he's just done. Shea Weber played with that foot for at least a year, mm-hmm. probably more. And was a good contributor for the Montreal Canadiens until the instant he decided he was done. Mm -hmm. He probably could have played this season and been adequate. You know what I mean? But so does Muzzin make that kind of decision to Adam's point? Like, yeah, go look at Peter Forsberg's numbers are ridiculous because he would come back, score at a point a game, decide he was in agony, leave. Come back, scored a point a game, decide he was in agony, <laughs> leave. He, go look at his last stint with the Avs. He played like 12 games and had 11 points. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Just, and one goal. You decided, uh, I need scoring, one more. scoring is too difficult. I don't want to skate to the net. Here, you take it with this ridiculous pass that I'm going to feed you because I'm Peter friggin' Forsberg. And then you're going to snipe. Yep. So... If that Flyers team had had a fully healthy Peter Forsberg, and I think Keith Primo as well, oh, weren't they on the same time? Scary. Keith Primo was un- hard to remember. Real before, right before he retired. Unreal. Flyers have always been big spenders. They're they're a great team where you look at their hockey DB and you go, this guy, this guy, and this guy were all on the same team at the same. How time. didn't they win? How didn't a lot like the that Avalanche team that had Solani and Korea? Yep, and they were that was a resurgence for them. They should have tiptoed to a Stanley Cup. I can't believe they didn't. Um, But anyway, so sorry to put a bow on the Jake Muzzin thing. Um, You can be unhooked. Yeah. Will he play a healthy game for the rest of the season? I doubt it. Will he play a healthy uh, game ever again? I think it's possible. Dude, we were talking about Andre Kasha's career potentially being over, like, I don't know, less than a week ago. And now it sounds like he could return by the end of the regular season. 